Instructional video for 204 370 PRO decorative stitches sewing machine. One lubrication. When you receive the new machine, please add five to six drops of oils in all holes with red mark. All lubrication points, with red mark, must be given 2 to 3 drops of oil daily. To connect to the power supply and air source. Connect this machine to an air compressor. Open the control box. Adjust the air pressure of the aerosol separator to 0.5-0.6 ampar. Adjust the right side air pressure to 0.05-0.1 par. Plug into a source of electricity. AC 220 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 HZ, single phase. The red LED indicator will light up. Turn on the switch. You will see the green LED indicator lights up. Caution. You must click the enter key, machine backs to origin position. 3 thread winding. Put the bobbin thread on the thread stand and threading it as we do in the video. Wind the thread to bobbin for several turns. Install it to the bobbin winder. Press the foot pedal forward to start winding. When the bobbin is full, remove it. Prepare two full bobbins, open the bobbin bed covers. Click the needle position key, move the needle to down position. The shuttle latch turns to outside. Press latch to open the hook and install the bobbin. Pull the thread out, go through the hole of tension spring. Install another bobbin in the same way. For threading. Put the needle thread on the thread stand and threading it as we do in the video.
Before threading needle, note the holes on needle clamp, these two holes must toward you. If you cannot see these two holes, please turn the flywheel. Make the holes toward you. Threading these holes prior to needles. When threading left needle, should thread from right to left. When threading right needle, should thread from left to right. Healing the pedal backward to lift presser foot. Threading the hole on presser foot. Threading another side in the same way. Pull the needle threads backward and hold them. Turn flywheel to pick up the bobbin threads. Pull out both needle threads and bobbin threads. Close the bobbin bed covers. Five sewing pattern selection. Find a proper sewing pattern from the diagram. For example number four pattern. Click the number key. Input four. Then click OK. Click speed to set the sewing speed. Speed range is 100 to 400 RPM. Attention please you have to click this key for origin position. Whenever, 1, turn on machine. 2, select new sewing pattern. 3, change parameter. 6 multifunction panel switch. There is a multifunction panel, a switch under the arm of machine. This button is for pneumatic center seam guide. When the lead is on, seam guide in the up position. Press button again, the seam guide will down. This button is for second thread tension. When so light material, turn off the second thread tension. Lead light is on. When so heavy material or overlapped seam, turn on the second thread tension. This button is for presser foot. Press this button, or healing the pedal backward, presser foot rises. Press this button again, or release foot pedal, presser foot downs. When pneumatic center seam guide and second thread tension working, lead is off. They will rise and down together with presser foot. 7 tape reel bracket of front tape guide. Tape used in upholstery to sew into seams in order to strengthen. It is tape reel bracket. Loose screw, remove the baffle plate. Install the upholstery tape. Install back the baffle plate. There must be a space between the tape and plate. Tighten the screw. Taping the machine according to the demonstration. Eight sewing. Healing pedal backward to lift presser foot. Put in the material. Check the position of center seam guide.
Hold the two needle threads. For the first three stitches, press the pedal to start sewing. After three stitches, you can release the thread. After sewing, healing pedal backward to lift presser foot and remove material. Nine sewing a single needle machine. Just remove one needle. You can use the machine a single needle machine. Click reverse key, you can sew with mirror image pattern. Mirror image pattern is opposite pattern. If you have any additional question, or contact our engineer at info at automatic-sewing.com, thank you for your time.